You killed my sensei. You burned my dojo to the ground. You killed my mother, six of my cousin, and my dear Uncle Pete. Don't forget your Aunt Mamie. It's true. <laughs> That was the worst movie I've ever heard That of. was a terrible idea. I didn't enjoy it, I'll be honest. Yeah, that sucked. Fuck. Come on guys, we gotta think of something better. We're five creative uh, people. Yeah, we I wouldn't go that far. We've got you know? I've got it. Period piece. Yeah? But Civil War. No, Ancient Greece. Boom! Better. Yeah. You've got this concubine, <laughs> and you've got this king, okay? And she's like the designated concubine to the king. She like lives in this palace and like whatever. But wait, get this. She's actually in love with the king's manservant. Ooh. So, so like, you've got this, you've got this like torrid love affair. <laughs> Would you like a grape? Mm. Well, how sweet are they? How sweet is your palate? Mm. That is sweet. Mm -hmm. Not as sweet as your heavy nectars, though. <laughs> and then things come to a crisis point because she gets pregnant. I have something I need to tell you. Hmm. What is that? I feign to say this, but I am full with child. With child? <clears throat> but whose child? Well, the manservant of the king. The manservant of the king? But well, that's me. Oh, no. Oh, this is, this is a tragedy, a Greek tragedy. I don't know, I don't know how to do this part, but he could like, he could like approach them both when they're together and be like, Hermie! King! Your Majesty, you're not going to believe what I just heard. What is it? Hear me, sweet Zeus! that my lowly manservant is sleeping with my concubine in my bed chamber. I will wreak havoc upon your head and your family's heads. I don't know, man. It's kind of fucking dumb. This idea failed. What about like an epic <coughs> journey? Try, what, about like, what about like an epic journey? Um, like the devil and a red balloon. <laughs> What the fuck are you no. talking it's like, about? It's like, no. it's like he's not real. It's not like he's not even here. <laughs> it totally is. I have an idea. What? I, already, I have an idea of a mad, cracked out scientist. Yeah! Right. Scientist! Scientists. Right. Crazy hair! Yes, exactly, with beakers. And beakers filled with colorful chemicals. Good. I'm with you so far. <laughs> and... He falls in love with his chemicals, and he becomes obsessed with chemicals, and he takes them and he's a drug addict, and... I'll be honest, I'm a little freaked out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey devil, as the devil's walking away, I'm more powerful than you. Devil whips him around, what are you talking about? Look at these horns, I'm a beast. And the balloon is like, I just brought you to earth. The devil's like, hey, don't you think I come here all the time? And the balloon's like, I didn't know that. I'm more powerful than what you. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I miss it. I just, trying to make... I just tuned out everything you I'm, said. We're trying to make a real movie. The balloon's movie like, I showed you the way to earth. And the devil's talking. like, what the fuck are you? We need to do a meta. Movie. A mockumentary. Think about it. A mockumentary. It's gonna be about us, and we're making a movie. You know, we're making the movie, but and you know, the movie is about us making the movie. And then they're, they're gonna be interviews and stuff um, with us, like you know, because we're in the, making a movie. And action. We're making a movie here. Uh, it's about us making a movie. 
Um, it's a pretty sweet idea. I'm psyched. A preferential movie about making a movie? That's the worst idea I've ever heard I in my life. There could not be a worse movies. idea for a movie. People do that all the time. Movie. Movie. Those are always bad movies, though. Yeah. Movie. Guys, I got it. Bethany Grimes is a professional organizer. is a professional organizer. Everything is where it's supposed to be, and she is obsessed with it. Everything in its place. Everything in its place, Bethany. You are a professional organizer. Alphabetical order, everything professionally organized. She's obsessed with it when, and this is the twist, a cyclone comes through and fucking knocks her shit no! everywhere. She's freaking out. Where's my book? Everything is so disorganized. She's gotta put it all back together. That's your mom. That's, that's this is some Edvis complex thing. What's, your mom? What's your wrong with my mom? Why, why, why shouldn't why should there be a movie like, about my mother? At this point, I actually prefer the red balloon idea. And the the devil sits him down and he's like, look, I have this graph. It's talking about on an XY curve how your resilient rubber versus my being supreme leader of all hell and everything that's terrible, you know, doesn't equate, I win, bingo, it's math. So you throw in a little math thing, maybe they're like, ah, oh, I see the error in my ways. And the balloon says, but please devil, let's have like one meal before you leave. And he's like, all right, fine, we'll go to this bistro. Order something light, shrimp cocktail. You know, because the balloon, you know, can't really and digest the anything. Shelf. And the devil, well, the devil probably wants something cold, but he can have that cocktail sauce and get a little spice. I'm so I'm hungry. Cold. I'm starving. Fuck this movie. Right. Let's just get some food. We need money. Where are my keys?